Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge. And today in this video, we will learn how to implement logging in our microservices using Spring Boot. And we'll also learn how we can customize logging by using logback.xml file. As we know, Spring Boot is a very helpful framework and it allows us to forget about the majority of the configuration settings. So in case of logging, the only mandatory dependency is Apache common logging. But we should not worry about this dependency if we are using Spring Boot starter dependency. Because when we are using Spring Boot starter dependency, then logback is used for logging by default. And these are the log levels. That is error, warn, info, debug, and trace these five levels and the default logging level of the logger is preset to info one and error meaning that if we want to enable trace and debug for logging level then we need to do some configuration in our property file but why we need logging logging is a vital part of all applications and brings benefit not only to us developers but also helpful for business people and spring boot applications need to capture relevant log data to help us and diagnose and fix the problems and measure business matrices also so the spring boot framework is pre-configured with logback as a default implementation okay let's see in the code how we will implement First, I will create one Spring Boot project start.spring.io and here I will just add one dependency. First, we need to add artifact ID and here we just need to add one dependency because we need to create one REST endpoint. So here I will add one starter dependency for web and generate. So here I have imported my Spring Boot project into Eclipse and here we can see it's our main class. Now I will create one more class and for this I will create one new package that will be controller and will create one rest endpoint. So here I will create one class in new package that is controller and here controller name is message controller so in this controller we will create one rest endpoint It will just return one message as a string. So here I will just use get mapping. Here I will just return one string. open console to check log messages this was the message that will be returned by rest endpoint and here i will just use logger file so here logger factory that is provided by self 4j get logger logger and here we need to pass class name message controller dot class and it will return one logger object so here we just need to import self 4j logger and so here first we will check 
default logging level supported by sl4j so here i will just use logger.info so here i will check default logging level and here info message and here i will just print get message the method name and the next one is local dot warning this will be the warning message so these are the five logging level that we have implemented logger.info logger.warn error debug and trace these are the five levels so now i will run this application and will check which are the default logging level supported by sl4j so it will just support these three levels these two message will not be printed on console so now i will run this application and show you run as java application now here we will check on console info message is by default supported by this so info message are printing now our application has started now i will go to browser and hit the rest endpoint that we have created localhost 8080 message this was the url open console to check log messages so here we will see these are the three default logging levels supported by spring boot info message warning message and error message printed but debug and trace level was not printed on console so if you want to enable debug or trace then we need to add one property in our application dot property files then it will be enabled so here we just need to define the logging level and our package name and then what level we want to enable so now debug will be active so if i will again run this application and hit to this rest endpoint then here we also see debug level message will also be printed on console but before that only three message were printed info warning and error message so here what we defined logging dot level and this is our package name com dot example spring boot dot controller so here we can check it our package so here i will go and just copy this package com dot example and go to my application dot properties file and paste it here so now i will stop this application and start it again run as java application so now i will hit this rest endpoint refresh this and check the console so here we can see debug message is also printed on console so like this we can also enable trace message just need to define that level of debugging logging level so here we can see these are the logging level message but if you want to change the pattern of these messages that we can also change the pattern according to our requirement so now i will try to change this pattern and here i will define this property logging dot pattern dot console and first it will show the date then level of logging that is info warning or debug any level after that it will print our class name that is message controller and then number of lines where we have defined the log message and after that the message will be printed then next line so now i will stop it and we will check the pattern of log will be changed so here we can see all package is printed but now we have changed the 
so here we can see we have changed the pattern of logs now i will run again run as java application and open the console and clear all logs refresh this rest endpoint and check the logs so here we can see debug message message controller our class name line number 18 and cat message this was the message we just printed inside our logger so like this we can change the pattern and one more thing we can do here if you want to print this all logs into a file then we just need to define one more property and need to define the name for logging file so here we will define logging file name is application log now i will stop it and rerun but before rerun i will also add the patterns of log message that will be printed into our logging file here i will just use the same pattern that we are using on console level so now i will run this application and then our log file will be generated with the name application.log so we can also see the logs in our logging file so here i have run this application and our project has started now i will hit this rest endpoint now i will go to console here we can see four message are printed debug error warning and info message with our log pattern and here we will refresh this project then parallelly pom.xml our application.log will be printed so here we can see file has generated and these are the logs that we can check in our application.log file so this is our message.controller class line number 15 get message info message that we can check here in 15 number lines this is line number 15 logger.info get message info message so like this we can generate logging dot file and if we are not satisfied with default logging and then we can override the logback dot xml file also for this what we need to do we just need to create logback dot xml file and inside this file we will write the pattern and file name that we want to generate for log so here what i will do here i will create one file new file that is logback.xml so here i will just paste the code for logback.xml and this code will create separate files for console if i want to print the logs on console then i need to add this console appender class and these are the patterns in which pattern i want to print the message on console and this is the rolling file appender and here is the folder name and the file name will be debug.log will generate when i will run this application and these are the pattern layout for encoder and next one is time based rolling policy so it will create maximum size up to 10 mb and next rolling file appender and this is the pattern layout for this and next is also time based policy for this rolling and the next we have created we have need to define here our package for which package we want to print the logs here if i just want to print the log for this package so i will copy here and paste it here so here it will generate two log files one for if our application is executed successfully with 200 status then the logs will be printed in debug.log if there will be any exception raised in our code then this message will be gone into error.log file so here two log file will be generated that is file.error
so now i will run this application but before running i will just comment these all properties and now i will stop this server and run this application again so we will see there two log files will be generated one for successful log and other for error message logs run as the application now our application has started now here i will refresh it and here we can see logs folder is created this is our folder name logs that we have defined in our log back.xml file and these are the debug log and these are the error log now i will hit the rest endpoint so our application endpoint is executed successfully now we can see the logs in debug.log file so these are the logs that was printed here and we can also see in error log file this is empty now here i will do some changes in my code so my code will throw runtime exception here i will divide 10 by 0 so it will throw arithmetic exception and after that we will check our debug.log file and error log.log file that is now empty now i will stop it and run it again run as java application and refresh this page again so here we can see exception is raised now i will go to my debug log log so here in debug dot log file we can check only success message was printed but in our error log dot file the exception message was printed in error log dot file this is due to java dot lang arithmetic exception because we are dividing by zero so like this we can make separate file for our debug dot log message and error log messages so this was all about our log levels and like this we can implement logging in our spring boot project okay thanks for watching this video